There are recent calls in Congress uh, and elsewhere to report the ratio of CEO pay to average worker pay um, in proxy statements of publicly traded firms. Uh, it's very interesting because this is a complicated issue. It's actually complicated to report and it's not exactly clear uh, how organizations would do this and what they would use for the, the numerator or denominator in these kinds of calculations. Thinking about the ratio of CEO pay to average worker pay or regular worker pay in the United States over the last generation is quite interesting. The average CEO pay to worker pay to low wage worker pay, that is workers at the fifth percentile, uh, in 1980 was about 150. So CEOs earned about 150 times the wages of low wage workers in the United States in 1980 and that increased dramatically to 400 this past year. So the average CEO made 400 times entry-level workers or pay or worker pay at the fifth percentile of the wage distribution. However, if we make the comparison between CEOs and high-wage workers, say workers who are earning at the 95th percentile, that is where only 5% of workers in the United States are earning more, the ratio in 1980 was about 30. That is, CEOs earned 30 times the wages of those at the 95th percentile in 1980, and that has increased to 60 in 2010. That is, CEOs earned 60 times the worker at the 95th percentile of the wage distribution in the United States.